All right, okay, so yeah. So I have to end the video because um, usually when shit like this happen, at times the 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 app, the the camera app will just uh, quit all of a sudden, and when it does that, it doesn't save the video. So I have to I have to literally stop the video from uh, the the video recording in order for it to be saved. So I don't want to take that chance. That's why I I stopped it. So yeah. Well, yeah, but this is what they do. Oh, now, listen now. Noise campaign. <laughs> noise campaign, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so now you see all these, all, these, all these dollar vans, right? All these dollar vans. What happened to the 35? What happened to the B35? Okay, it's 10.30. It's not like as if it's 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock at night. Okay. Shit, last week... I came out here, it doesn't matter what time I came out here, there were buses readily unavailable. I just, I, I waited, the most I've waited at this bus stop was around, I would say, three to four minutes. Because as soon as I, I got here, there was a bus down there, or a bus just left, and there was another one down there. And there was another one after that one, okay? So, yeah, all of a sudden tonight now, right? The retaliation, right? You guys, you guys see how they retaliate? Because again, this is the reason why my um, my leg is hurting me because you know when they hold up the buses from coming, I had to stand up or what have you. And I tried not to sit down on these benches because you know, I mean, just shit. There'd be all kind of people on these damn benches, you know. Uh, man, it's so difficult for me to sit down right now and uh, get back up. I was attempting to sit down. I was like, you know, I forget it. I took a muscle relaxer about a, two hours ago, so I'm gonna take another one when I get home before I go to sleep. But yeah, you guys seen the retaliative, retaliate, retaliative uh, tactics that they use, particularly with the bus, and how they have me standing, knowing that I have a bad back, and and they, like I said, they know exactly what they do. And you think that they're cal they trust me, they're that calculated, right? So they already they have. Like I said, doctors, neurosurgeon, all the all the specialists, okay, and they're like, okay, well, we all hold up the bus. We're not, gonna, you know. Meanwhile, you know, he's carrying his book bag on him. His book bag weighs such and such uh, grams or what have you, or pounds, or what have you. Uh, if we have him standing there for forty minutes, that's more pressure weighted down on his spine. You know, all this shit. Trust me, they they calculate that shit. They figure all that shit, okay. And this is why, you know, it was no surprise to them that when my leg started hurting, I literally, literally, you know, I was in so much pain, I could barely walk. I couldn't even, you know, Ethan today had to help me with my shoes and particularly on my, my right leg, I couldn't lift it, right? I couldn't lift it because I was in so much pain. He literally had to put my socks and my shoes on for me. And I literally had to, because I had no muscle control. I actually know, but very little. That I couldn't even, I was sitting down, I couldn't even pick this leg up on its own to put it on the other one, you know? So I had to basically raise it with my hands. And man, that what that was painful. And on top of that too, imagine, you know, it's a good thing I have long arms, I'm tall. Because I couldn't really bend forward, you know? I was afraid if I bent forward, I, you know, I have muscle tearing in my upper buttocks. And trust me, you don't want that, okay? It's like pain, pain and tingling, pain and numbness at the same time. It's, it's a, it's a, you know, <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it, really. Because it's like you, you know, you don't have that, you don't have any feeling. But then when you step down, it's like you feel like this tingly feeling, you know, and it's painful at the same time, man. So yeah. So this is the reason why they hold up the bus, because again, it's retaliation. You know, and uh, I'm telling you, it's, it's incredible, right? So, uh, anyway, I'm gonna check the app and see how long a bus is gonna come because um, this is ridiculous. Like I said, you know, last week I didn't have this issue at all. This week, oh, speaking of the bus, here, here it comes, here comes the bus. See that? There you go. 
Uh, see if they have, if they have, uh, if, if I was, if this was, I was, if this was to happen, you know, 10 years ago, where I'm saying, I wish a bus would come in the bus would be here, and I see, just see the bus. You know, have you think, have me thinking it's like some, like I have some power or something, right? Like, I just thought of the bus and the bus is here, you know? Because this is what they try to do to us, you know? Ruin our, ruin our mind. You know, they try to make us who they are, which is insane. That's who they are. But you see they keep doing the same shit over and over, right? And that's the definition of, it, of insanity. And you, they keep expecting a different result. Okay? So, yeah. Still gonna be doing my video. I don't care how much they want to hold up the bus, they want to retaliate. I'm still doing the shit. I don't care what they do. Alright? But I know enough to protect myself and my kids. And perks out there, you better listen good. You better think twice before you step to me. Alright, because either I'm going to die or you're going to die. Simple as that. Okay? Like I said, T.I., we have every right to defend ourselves against these sort of attacks. Alright? We have every right to defend ourselves by any means necessary. Oh, here the helicopter. Uh, look at the helicopter out there. <laughs> okay, just remember that as a TI against these psychological attacks, you have every right to defend yourself by any means necessary to make it stop because what they're doing is torture and it's abusive. Alright? Okay. My bus is here.